Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this is my test of the Blue Getty microphone. Um, in general, uh, real short and sweet, I would recommend a microphone to other people. Um, my particular microphone just seems like it was a, a lemon off the line, and I want to zoom in here and show you uh, what my problem is here. Um, the volume control for the latency-free monitoring of the microphone while you're speaking on my microphone doesn't work. Uh, I had to turn it all the way up. When I first got the microphone, I had to turn it all the way up to hear myself about if there's 100% volume, I may be hearing 25%. Now, for me, that was actually okay. I, if, as long as it continued to work like that, that was going to be fine for me. But uh, a day or two ago, it just stopped working. I haven't had the thing for a week, and it's just the, I can't monitor my uh, speech at all. <laughs> you know, I have to do a test recording, play it back, and make sure that the volume's right for this. And, um, you yeah, know, that's just not going to work for me. So I'm, gonna, I'm sending a microphone back to... Uh, to Amazon and it, you know, I already have the label set up and everything else but while I'm waiting <laughs> uh, to send this back I purchased the Shure uh, X2U I'll zoom in on that um, this has pretty much the same um, same system as the Blue Yeti in that you have the gain control for the microphone you have a volume control which is a problem on the Blue Yeti mine doesn't work and over here on the left sorry about the up and down thing my mouse just moved over towards that little picture of the uh, headphones. You plug your headphones right into this device and you, there's your vol volume level for that. Hopefully when I get this, it'll work. Uh, the monitor is so you can add additional background sound, pre-recorded sound um, to your recording while you're recording. The uh, 48 volt down here is the phantom power button. It's a button, you push it and, uh, and you'll have a, if you have a, a microphone that requires phantom power, you're there. Uh, a USB light because the USB plugs right in at the bottom. So that's <clears throat> that's the device from Shure. And the reason why I found this is, and I'm almost embarrassed that I didn't find it a whole lot sooner, is that uh, I was looking for a uh, USB microphone. And so because I was looking for a USB microphone, of course I came up with the blue the blue Yeti. And you now here's 2,128 you know, customer reviews, and they review it quite high. So. Um, as a matter of fact, there's really not a whole lot of bad reviews on it. And uh, I, I would give it a good review myself, except for the fact that I can't monitor my sound. Uh, the reason why I bought the Shure one is I shoot video for a living, and forever I've been using, this is my microphone mixer, it's almost bulletproof. You do have to plug it into the wall, it doesn't have any batteries to operate on. So you have to plug it into the wall, but I don't use batteries anyway. Uh, for voiceover work, I had, picture, I had uh, picked up this microphone here. This is the SM, it's Shure SM63LB, and the LB means long, and it's black. Here is a short version of the microphone. This is a normal microphone, so you're really gonna need, you know, a tabletop microphone stand for this one. Uh, but that's the longer version, and this one here is set up with a wireless adapter on the bottom of it. So there, somebody's using this one here, um, you know, uh, with batteries and, uh, and wirelessly. But I always use wires, and um, you know, so I like the long, the long microphone. It's a very nice looking microphone. It's sharp. Uh, I'd say it's uh, sleek. You know, it's a really great looking microphone. So I like it very much. Uh, on my video jobs, um, for times when I want to wire somebody up with their own microphone, I use this as the uh, Shure SM93 lavalier microphone. Again, uh, these are not battery holders. These are the um, these are the uh, preamplifier for the microphone. Uh, you do need phantom power with these if you're using it in this configuration. They do have a uh, battery holder preamplifier, you know. So, it, but it almost costs as much if you bought that separately. It almost costs as much as the microphones. Microphones you would buy that with it. Um, however, um, I use I, I use the uh, phantom power anyway, so it doesn't matter. For most of my videos, however, I can use this desktop microphone. This is a very small microphone. It can fit in the palm of your hand. Uh, if you look at this picture here, this is not a very big device here. You know, it, it might fit across the palm of your hand. And so this would fit like right in the palm of your hand. It's very small, but it comes with a, a pretty good length of wire on it. And it plugs right into my camera, which has, my cameras have the XLR inputs to them for audio. So that's, you know, for my shooting video out in the field, that's what I would use. Um, so this type of video that I'm doing right here of a review of something, I can use images right off the internet and I can record my desktop without pointing a camera at my desktop and it will look better 
than if I had pointed my camera at my desk, you know, my laptop screen. Uh, but anyways, all of this is recorded with the Blue Getty microphone. And, uh, and my point on my purchase is that um, because the audio can't be monitored live, that's the reason why I bought this particular microphone and it's the very thing that doesn't work on this microphone. Uh, as far as the clarity and uh, the cleanness of the sound that you're hearing on this one here, it's not. I don't have my sound baffle set up. I don't have this thing set up for recording a professional uh, video. And uh, But if you look at some of my other videos on my YouTube channel, um, you can get an idea for what kind of sound I can get in this. If you look at the, uh, there's something called the FYLSX. It's an exam uh, that I'm teaching people about uh, my experiences on it. And if you look at that video, uh, the first couple of videos are shot with the Blue Yeti microphone and they sound, you know, to me they sound pretty good. Uh, but again, because I can't monitor my sound live, uh, I'm sending this one back and I picked up the Shure uh, X2U XLR to USB signal adapter. Um, and that should be here in a couple of days. And when that gets here, I'll do a review of that with a couple of my favorite microphones and, and we'll see how that sounds. So with that, That'll wrap up my Yeti microphone uh, review. And with that, take care and be well.